Hello, and welcome to the realest, I said the realest, nigga, alive. You know, ever since I came out of the hospital, I've been putting on some pounds because I did lose a lot of weight in the hospital, so I had to eat healthy, but I had to eat a lot. I've been getting my body in shape. I'm looking much better. Um, I woke up in the mirror this morning. I'm like, you know, I'm looking a little bit sexy, you know what I'm saying? So I start teasing myself a little bit. I start putting down my box a little bit, and I'm looking. I'm like, oh, my shit looking dumb fat. Like, to be honest, if I was if I was a girl, I would, I would suck my shit. I really would. Uh, and then I thought to myself, I said, hmm, if I was a nigga, I think I would still suck my shit. And then I thought to myself, matter of fact, I'm about to suck my shit right fucking now. And I started thinking, wait a minute, I don't even know how to suck dick. Like, how can I consider myself a real man? Because at the end of the day, when you were alpha male, you know how to do everything. You know what I'm saying? When you were alpha male, you have to know if a nigga's cute. If you're walking down the street with your girl, and a nigga's cute, and he says hi to your shorty, and you're like, oh, that nigga ugly, and every man is ugly to you, because you so straight. How you gonna know who's a threat? How you gonna know what's competition in your real niggerness? You feel me? So you gotta give credit where it's due. You gotta know if a nigga's cuter than you. You feel me? You gotta know if a nigga's attractive. That's what an alpha male's being about. It ain't gay, it's just knowing your competition. And to keep it a buck, you gotta know how to suck dick if you wanna be a real man, you feel me? Now before y'all start going ape shit, let me explain myself, you feel me? Cause at the end of the day, y'all know that I take shit that y'all niggas think is wrong and I make that shit right. Cause at the end of the day, I'm the realest nigga alive and I overexpose shit that y'all niggas never saw before. Now, if you walking down the street and you in the struggle, OD like you broke, niggas is about to evict you next month type shit. And a rich white nigga walks up to you and he says, I give you a billion dollars if you suck my dick right now. First of all, that nigga ain't even asking you for how long you should suck that shit. Hypothetically speaking, that nigga tells you five minutes. Would you rather be gay for five minutes or stupid for life? Because if you don't suck that dick and you giving up a billion dollars, you a fucking idiot. With a billion dollars, I could buy me a whole new fucking mouth. I'll take the five minutes of faggotry. Thank you very much. I'm dead sucking that dick. I promise you. If you a real nigga and you stay talking about that you getting this paper, you gonna do whatever it takes, you feel me? Cause money's the motive, you feel me? Talking all this shit about you getting paper And at the moment that there's opportunity to get paper You ain't gonna do that shit At the end of the day, it's a gay action What you do doesn't make you gay It's the intentions behind it It's whether you like it or not, you feel me? I could kiss a nigga, that don't make me gay I could fuck a nigga in his ass if I wanted to That don't mean I'm gay I could just do it just to do it and I'll still be straighter than a fucking pencil. If you giving me money, why not? I get this money. I'm about this money life, you feel me? Y'all niggas stay talking about y'all about this money life, but y'all powered by bitches. Y'all bitch made ass niggas. Do anything for pussy, you feel me? Do anything to look good for pussy. Talking about, nah, I'm straight, my nigga. What I look like going to my girl talking about that I just sucked dick for this billion dollars. Nigga, fuck that bitch. You got a billion dollars, you could buy yourself a billion bitches with that. But I wouldn't buy a billion bitches, you feel me? I'm not a bitch-made nigga. I'm not out here trying to impress women. I'm not trying to get women. I'm about this paper, you feel me? When you get paper, when you chase the money, women follow. When you chase women, you losing money, you feel me? I forgot who said that shit. I think it was like Kane Carter or some shit. Or Spoken Reasons. It was one of them black niggas. But there's some real ass niggas, you feel me? Gotta give credit where it's due, you feel me? Niggas can't chop me with that fucking copyright bullshit. Scenario number two. You walking down the street, it's 2 o'clock at night, and five niggas come up to you, and they say, Give it up. You take out your wallet, they say, I'm not talking about that. Them niggas wanna fuck you. You gotta hit them niggas with the alternative, like, yo, I can't at least suck y'all niggas' dicks or some shit, cause I'm dead not trying to get fucked right now. First of all, I got a phobia of blood. Creep! Second of all, if you getting fucked in your ass, that's enough time for you to start liking that shit, cause there's a prostate gland right there. That's the male G spot, you feel me? You gonna start liking that shit, and then you just gonna start getting fucked by niggas on the regular. In any situation, not for money, not for nothing. You just gonna start wanting to get fucked, and I don't wanna get fucked, you feel me? That's just not because it's gay, because at the end of the day, it's not the action that makes you gay, it's the intentions. But only because I don't wanna waste my time. That time that I'm wasting wanting to get fucked by niggas, I could just be getting more paper, you feel me? And I'm not a prostitute, I'm not gonna charge niggas to fuck me in my ass, you feel me? But if you just sucking dick for money, that's just being like a food tester, you feel me? You doing the ice cream flavor test, you just sucking the cone for a little bit for, for some money, you feel me? You giving them feedback on how they taste. If you getting fucked, that's just straight up prostitution. 
So yeah, at the end of the day, you gotta know how to suck dick. I don't understand. Like, if it's a life or death situation, like, why would you not rather suck the dick? You suck five dicks for a little bit, for like five minutes, rather than getting fucking plowed by like five niggas. I'd rather suck the dick, you feel me? I'm not getting it in my ass, you feel me? Because if you sucking dick, you sucking dick, that shit don't hurt. Sucking dick don't hurt. Getting fucked in your ass is definitely gonna fucking hurt you for like the first 30 seconds, you feel me? I don't know about the rest of the time because I never got fucked in my ass. I suck dick, so I never had to deal with that shit. The smart bitches are the ones that suck dick because they don't gotta get fucked. They don't gotta waste energy, you feel me? They just suck the dick and make that nigga nut right away, you feel me? The better you are sucking dick, the faster them niggas nut, you feel me? And then the job is done, you feel me? If a nigga offered you a billion dollars, would you not suck that nigga dick if he said, I'll give you a billion dollars? To suck my dick. It's a billion fucking dollars, nigga. I could buy you an esophagus with half of that money. Really get me tight, yo. Anyway, it's been real, everybody. It was the realest. The realest. Nigga. Alive. Listen, man, at the end of the day, it's not like sucking dick is my profession. You feel me? All I'm saying is that if this video shit don't work out, you gotta respect the hustle. You feel me? If you gotta suck dick for money, you gotta suck dick for money. It's not gay as long as you going home to a woman with that money. As long as you spoiling a woman with that money, you feel me? At the end of the day, we will all be the realest nigga alive. As long as you listen to the realest nigga alive. First name realest, middle name nigga, last name. Love!